so it's 9 30 p.m i'm trying to put how i feel into words right now the whole of today i felt so overwhelmed with peace i think that's a good word to describe it i was just outside for the last three hours as the sun set it was a summer evening it got dark and i just cried to myself <laughs> i listened to this song called hear my voice by celeste i don't know if you ever heard it it is such a powerful song hear my It was the first time I've listened to it and I felt like I felt it. Like every single note, like my body just in this song. And I just felt flooded with gratitude. I've had so many incredible opportunities in my life thus far. Tomorrow, a book that I have written is being published. Also, my hair is grim. It really needs a cut. It's getting knotty, it's getting frizzy, it's a mane. Tomorrow I'm gonna get this Whoa. hiked up. <laughs> I want short, healthy curls of an author. Ah, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs> I never put mascara on, but today is an occasion. After I was done fangirling about my mascara, I got on the train with my brother and we were on the hunt to see my book in real life for the first time. I poured my heart and soul into this book. I wrote it throughout all of last year at university and I can't even imagine that words I typed on my laptop I can now go see in person. Oh my God, we're here. Ah! Hi guys. <laughs> so me and Volker are on our way to find a Waterstones and try oh, yes. find my Come book. On. Come on, so excited. So excited. It's so cute. These two girls just came over. And they're probably watching was... this. They're probably watching this. Like... I think they missed that train. Yeah, yeah, they're dedicated. Oh, and their friend so was cute. calling them and like, nah, nah, like, no, no, no. I'm Jane and Jane's here. Like, nah. There's no time. So cute. Oh, this is the one. You know, I'm a bit offended that there's not a shrine in the window to it, but it's okay, I'll take it. They might be inside. Might be inside. I think we go to education. Got a bit of a treasure hunt going on. I know. Oh, oh my god. Look who it is, the universe. I mean, if they have him, come on. Now that. No, that's sick. That's so sick. What, do they just not fit? That's a joke. That's a joke. I, th I think Jack Edwards came here and replaced your book with his. <laughs> <laughs> it says online that they have it here. You can do click and collect, so they definitely have it here. Yeah, so who, who's slacking at their this. job? Come on, bring it out. New and best selling entertainment. See, why is it on every one of these categories? Okay, so this is actually kind of crazy. The woman explained that they got all the shipments in on the 3rd of August, but somehow since then they had all sold out or were on reserve, which meant there was none in stock that I could have. But how cool is that? I was honored. <laughs> How's the day gone so far for you? Uh, it's been pretty sick. Uh, obviously we were like, well, where the hell is the book? But I mean, it was pretty sold out, so that's, that's honestly sicker than us finding it. That's uh, true. So, that's true. Mass, <laughs> massive <laughs> W. Um, yeah, so, so the day just gets better and better. And what yeah. are we doing right now? We're celebrating. Celebrating yeah, I mean, our face. Wagamama. Oh, Jade. We've got a brand new dish, Wagamama. Ooh. What is this? The tofu rasu curry. You deserve it. You deserve it. Oh, Enjoy you. it. Mind the gap between the train and the platform. This is the before. Frizzy and big. <laughs> me feel very sophisticated and adult which is how I want to feel when I'm an author 
<laughs> also the difference it makes having people cut your hair who know curly hair i just felt so safe with them and the way she does my curls just feels so loving i always travel just to come to trapadora i think they're wonderful okay so plan i'm gonna go pick up my brother and we're gonna go to wh smith and try and find a wh smith where the book is not sold out which now that i'm saying it aloud is the most luxury problem i think i've ever had ah it was such a good day <laughs> <laughs> also, can we just appreciate the fact that at the start of summer, there is no way I could have driven myself to a haircut. Like, I just did not feel confident in a car driving. But because I practiced so much, I just, I can drive now. I can drive. Life is good. Okay, okay. Look at you oh, well, yourself. What, what's, your, what's your opinion on the hair? Yeah, I think it's pretty nice. Pretty, just pretty chic, you know? I, I like it. I pretty like it. chic. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I asked the word that came to No, uh, <laughs> He was like, you look like Princess Leia. Yeah, Star Wars. <laughs> I see it, I see it. <gasps> You're having a laugh. <gasps> Don't tell me it's right there. No way. Oh my days. <laughs> In person, let's go. <laughs> what a beauty. <gasps> That's mad. It looks even better in person in store. In the shop, it was right in there. Oh. It was glowing. Oh, you're just walking along. You're just in the shop. Something grabs your eye. Oh, oh, <laughs> what's that? It? Oh, I love the green. Oh, it's just Sorry. speaking to you. <laughs> oh, no. yeah. okay, that's actually so mad, though. That's actually sick. That's actually so mad. Ta da. Okay, so this is the book that I wish I had had during secondary school. It's a combination of two things. The first, how to revise, how to study, based off of the science of learning, evidence-based techniques, but also everything I wish I'd known about being a student in the education system. I did interviews with teachers, I researched the education system, I tried to give you perspective on what you're in so that you feel less stressed, and I also dissect my experiences of mental health, perfectionism, fear of failure, all of these things which affect you holistically as a student. week I've been really craving spiritual yoga practice like not just the kind of yoga where like you stretch you get a bit flexible whatever and you you call it a day but the kind of practice that invites you to use your breath pranayama and like, connects you so I'm gonna go do a quick yoga practice and then today is a very exciting day What's up? What's up? Yeah. <laughs> so we're just on our way to pick up our close friend who's basically our sibling. We've been raised with her. We are gonna go to Bristol, which is really exciting. Yeah, I've never shots. been to Bristol as well, so it's pretty sick. Yeah. Folk is actually going to uni in Bath next year, which is insane. Go talk him in Bath. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yes, and Bristol's really near. Well, so I mean, I, I, cool I, I don't even know, know if I'm gonna get into Bath. Fingers crossed he gets into Bath. <laughs> it's pretty awkward now, but don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous about driving two hours, but I feel like my whole summer of practicing driving has been leading it's up all, to yeah, today. It's all built up to so. this moment here, so don't crash. I have my, my pro navigator here. Well, I don't know about the pro, but... <laughs> oh, but it was so cool, because we wanted to do a stop-off on the way, and we just chose Swindon as a random place, and so I just called up the Waterstones to see if they had a copy of my book. I was like, oh, hi, do you have a copy of The Only Study Guide You'll Ever Need? And this girl, she's like, oh, yeah, it's a brilliant book, super helpful, like, good choice, it's really helped oh, me with my master's. So cute. Such a legend. It's like, little do they know. I know. The author. Um, and then she reserved me a copy, she said, like, oh, can I take down your surname? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, it's Bowler. Pause. Did you write the book? 
<laughs> so it would have been more awkward if you just had the surname Bowler, but it wasn't. Yeah, your that's now. true. <laughs> um, so now I'm going to meet someone called Debbie, and we're going to sign her book, and it's just it's going to be a good day for Debbie. No, <laughs> <laughs> who's here? Hello, hey, Sean. It's like boom, 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 boom. Are you parking? Oh, Jake. One more oh, safety. God. Guys, I can't even explain to you how stressful that was. Who knew that Swindon has a thing called a magic roundabout? Now, if you imagine a <laughs> pentagon of a roundabout, but every point of the pentagon is a roundabout. So you're coming into it and you're like, oh my God, I've got to do a roundabout to get to the next roundabout, to get to the next roundabout. But you're also in a roundabout. Like... Ah, mind blown that was terrifying and then also just navigating the city like thank god i have my guides as my what is this saying keep calm and carry on <laughs> oh, well we made it let's go find the book Oh, look at the light on that. Have I shot on the toilet? <laughs> okay, so I've never been to Swindon before, but we found this beautifully lit mall. The Waterstones were so lovely. I signed some books, I took a photo for their Instagram page. The staff were so lovely. And I swear it will never get old seeing my book in a shop. And after a cute little snack, which for Falkett is a foot long sandwich, we headed another hour to Bristol. Made it to Bristol! Let's go hunt down the book. Welcome to Bristol. <laughs> it's raining, it's windy, and it's hilly. But we battled Mother Nature and we started to explore. We found this really cute market. What are the odds? It's in here. Go alongside Amy Schumer. What women want men to know. I, I feel like I need to give her a read, honestly. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Fun fact, I almost went to uni in Bristol. After my tragic Oxford rejection, it was my top choice on UCAS. Oh, Jamie gave me the chip. Yo! Yeah. Oh, this is so well. Oh, it's like a little bit Find the water stones. Yeah, and where is it? Honestly, it's going up this long it? hilly route. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. Like I fully support there being a water stones on this random road in the middle of the forest. Like imagine just getting a book. I mean sitting outside in the park and reading. Yeah, I'm very confused. We've just been walking up hills. I think we've nearly found it. After doing our cute book things, we got scooters. I've only done this once, I did it in Berlin, but trust me, it is an adventure. You are dodging cars, but it was really fun and we made it all the way to the iconic Clifton Bridge. I mean, look at this view. We admired the view, we battled the crazy wind. We opened our vegan banana bread, which we got earlier. It was a little bit destroyed, but still tasted amazing. <laughs> And then we went all the way back to the docks. Obviously, I was driving. It was still early enough in the day. We're not going to go hard on the drinks, guys. But we got some classy mocktails. And let me tell you, these were gorgeous. I think this was a raspberry mojito. We just had good chats, good celebrations. <laughs> and I just feel so comfortable around these two. They're like friends, hey, siblings. Down that lemonade. Bottoms up. Hey! <laughs> But my brain instinctively thought it was some uh, vodka, honestly. Life is just no stress. <laughs> Life is just no stress. Look at all the love locks. <laughs> it also felt so full circle to be returning to a place like Bristol because the last time I went here I felt very lost in life. I didn't know which uni I was going to go to and now I'm returning feeling so grounded, so grateful for all the opportunities and I just feel like I'm growing into myself. Yeah, it was a good day. Hi, lovely friends. Firstly, I just watched back this vlog and it means so much to me. If you got to this point, thank you so much. Please give it a like, it would mean the world. And secondly, I just want to say a huge thank you for 
all the support on the book. I'm gonna overlay some of the messages I've received, but I've realized that what means so much more than seeing it in a bookshop, which is like, it's cool, is when people actually read it and find value in it. I didn't write this book for money. Quite honestly, you don't make that much money off of books. I, I can talk about that in another video, but it's definitely not for money. I wrote this because I wanted this book and I really hope that I've done this subject justice. I've been so shocked by the warm response and we even made it to number 51 on all books on Amazon, which is just, is mind blowing to me. It's a childhood dream come true, you know? It also got to number one bestseller in so many categories like education, book notes for young people, test prep for young people, self-help. I love self-help books. <laughs> so truly from the bottom of my heart, thank you for supporting the book so much. Thank you for being with me on my journey. And even you being here is what allowed me to do something like, you know, have a publisher and feel confident enough in my own perspectives to publish a book. So you mean a lot. I also hope you know that no dream that you have is too big. Sounds very cliche, but around the age of 16, I made something called an impossible list. It's a bit like a bucket list. I wrote down everything that I wanted to achieve in my life. And the idea is that as you tick them off, you iterate upon them. Like, oh, I want to run a 5k in my life. And then if you do that, you can tick it off and say, oh, I want to run a 10k in my life. My list was inspired by a guy called Thomas Frank on YouTube. And I created this before I even had a YouTube channel. I wrote things like be on TV, reach 100,000 subscribers, skydive, bungee jump, solo travel, travel to Australia, you know? And one of the things on this list was to write a book, to publish the book, and to be able to walk into a shop and see that book in person. As of today, I have achieved that. So write yourself an impossible list. You don't know what you're capable of. You don't know where you could be in five years. You could have written a book too. You can have a YouTube channel too. You can go solo traveling too. You can travel, you can do whatever you want to, you know? Yeah, that's all. Okay. I love you guys. <laughs>